uh, deepest two uh, woken fighters. And, uh, oh, we get to choose here. I'm much lower on hides than I am on fabric, so let's go with two t hides here. Finish scouting over here. So, assault. They make for the cover of trees. Day dies. Shadows feather the trunks. Stories flicker in the mind. They say a hero used to belong to these lands. A towering woman who wore an antlered helm wielded a blade of flashing gold. Oh. Night wind stirs, and there is clearly a horned helmet in the background. Damp and cold. El Tara Crail, she was called, and her sword was named Avenger. Protected the people, the goodly beast, the trees. You know, standard heroing. But that's... That's what? Oh, that's a sword. In the stories about the end of her life, it was said that she laid her sword to rest. Not like a tool, but as a, a bid, a tired friend to sleep. Grateful she buried that battle-notched blade, wearied edge pressed into the earth where twas made. Wait, don't touch it. It was laid to rest, you say? Then let it sleep. They don't take long, do they? I don't know what Renvin is. What's, what's his deal? Nostalgic, dark heart, and destiny. Destiny, he's going to take the sword. Clearly, I was meant to find this. Time to wake up, old sword. You're needed. The heavy blade still carries a burning edge. Shadows shy from its arcing path. Avenger. Ooh. Yep, that's going to replace his weapon. Much higher accuracy, higher block, lower knockback, but otherwise the same. Haunt, Stormthroat, two stumps and a dart. Not too difficult. Stack up on the door. Open the door. Stormthroat just inside. Yash. And Ambleton, because... Oh, damn. Because he's got the spear, it's got longer range. Uh, Alright, well. Iggy will just walk straight in and stab here. Spriggan interfuse up there to get eyes in that room. Yep, I knew there'd be some. Well, I didn't. I thought there might be, which is why Iggy went there and didn't charge into the room like an idiot. Uh, barrage? Is that what that does? Yeah, it is. All right, barrage. Right there. Nice, a little bit of damage. Stump raises the alarm. There's the haunt. Who needs to be hit before he starts taking damage? Oh, he's healing from Draven blood. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Throw a poison, which was blocked. Throw another poison, which was dodged. That's just mean. All right, Ambleton, uh, come here. Get the accuracy and hold the line. Renvan, charge in like an idiot. And Spriggan, go and war with him. Interfuse with the bucket and uh, smash behind him. A little bit of damage, armor shredded. There's the haunt. He takes the damage because he's no longer um, spectre stepped. Blocked as well. Wow, Spriggan blocked. And the last two are in the next room. Ambleton. Nice. And then move up here with your additional move. Uh, Renvan. Can I do enough so that Renvan gets the kill? I suppose it doesn't really matter. Hit him there. Iggy up to here. And then Silk Step there, because I feel like the stump may charge. Uh, Spriggand? Yeah, just, just hit him. Not worth wasting an infusion messing around with that. Okay, the stump's charging the other way. I wasn't sure which way he'd go. And the dart. Ooh, they're really focusing Renvan, aren't they? How unfortunate for you. Stabby. That's my son, you're shooting. However, he can't throw a poison without hitting that son of his that he likes so much. So instead, I'll just move him here. Renvan. Clobber. Uh, roots and shoots. There. Well, that's cool. So it gives, like, random plants. Ah, uh, right. Can be cover. Uh, but I can he can interfuse with one to wild grasp or vine wrench plus uh, vine wrench him over there did a load of damage and moved him he's pinned so nothing he could do as Renvan goes in to get the kill throwing net uh, once per combat if it connects it pins them for two turns that's not really particularly good I'll just get the fabric 
Camp would fit in this flat little nook just to be sure to do your duty downhill. Not like we can go too far anyway. Fire doesn't need to be big, does it? Not big, no, just cooking size. Calm night comes after the battle. How many times has it been like this? How many times will it be so again? Yes, brigand! The wind is dead. The moon is new. You should be a painting. You'd be more popular. Someday you'll wish you painted me this way. The way I'm standing. Tonight. All nightly things have a place. Some seek light or shed it. Others wear the dew and dark. There are a lot of things we look at only once in our lifetimes. Day will come and dreadful work will be needed, ever as it was the day gone by. Legacy points. Terror bird for the drawbin, wow. So I guess I got the legacy points for drawing the sword. Interesting. Alright, secure the location. Secured the tannery. Go and scout. Secured the smithy and got ingots. And a bear strength sash, bonus damage. Guess give that to Renvan and come and scout. Oh, uh, finished over here. Patrol. Draven, deepest, deepest, and Draven. Oh, sorry, Mothagi. Uh, adds the butler. To be honest, that's not a problem. The butler wasn't particularly difficult, so I'm, I'm fine with that. So added three new types of things to the decks. That's, I mean, that's not great, but not a big problem, I don't think. Revealed over here, patrol. Patrolled over here, and assault. A ridge of limestone wraps the edge of Coal Shrine. Find a way in from this direction and you'd have high ground. You'd have surprise. I don't know. Looks impassable. Look a bit further than looks and we'll see. After a few dead ends and false hopes... Finally, a promising channel in the stone stretches out in the right direction. The friendly ghost of a long-gone river, perhaps. Seems sturdy enough. Slow steps make steady progress, the stones leaning close, peering over each other's shoulders. Doing okay back there, Sienna. I heard me say it wrong that time. Doing okay back there, Senia. Ugh, oh, kinda tight here. Not of all of us are made of wet noodles and silk. Some of us got, ugh, warrior's hips. Perfect. Here we are. Couldn't ask for a better spot to emerge. One last tight squeeze, and it's a straight shot to Cole Shrine. I mean, I could ask for a slightly better spot to emerge. Maybe one that was a little bigger? Uh, uh, uh. You've got this. You're a, a blue panther. They should make a TV show about you. You're... If anyone asks, tell them I went down honourably. Uh. She's prideful, so let's go with the push through. She wouldn't she wouldn't accept the just walking away bit. Maybe I could blast that please don't. Finally, Senia's refusal to be bested by the rock grows strong enough to wrench her free. And something ripped. That sounded bad. Wasn't a ligament or anything, was it? I think that would have hurt more. Armor's all scraped up though, this will require tools. Think it'll stop a horn hammer? We'll find out. Stay close, maybe, just in case. Hornchild, The Woken, Mustrox, and The Chosen, and a plus one card on turn three. So the Mustrox and The Chosen were the two new ones that we got for not getting rid of any. Talking in cracks and crumbles, viciously throwing itself at whatever it sees. Successful attacks hobble. Whole body grinding together in a slate stack, fungus wreathes it in fumes of decay. Deep chanting voice echoes as its girth goes bowling through the bodies of its lessers. Wow, for once they didn't spawn on us. So what's the deal with Senia? Nothing. It looks like I actually won that 50% chance. Alright, let's move up. There's a Hornchild. Interfuse with uh, the Mushrooms. Oh, Hornchild and the Chosen. Wild Grasp the Chosen to pull him closer dealing a load of damage. The idea being, Jaya should be able to finish him off. So Jaya moves up. Boom! So the Mustrox is still probably the hardest thing, but that guy would have been tough. There's the Woken. There are two Woken and they can summon more each. There's the Mustrox and then there are the two Horn Children. There's the other Woken. 
but neither of them are summoning. But there's where the other one will arrive. Uh, right, if I go here and just hit it, doesn't really matter about armor when it's got such low health. Go here and... Oh, it took cover. All right, Shoe Lord. Oh, I should have just moved Shoe Lord up. That would have done the trick anyway. Just with indignance. Uh, Wild Grasp the Mustrox to stop it from charging. Uh, if I shoot at something with a high chance... Mustrox. It should... Oh! Why did I think that would damage the others? Because that... No, that's on a stunt chance it damages the other. Wow! Okay, there's the Slinger. Wow, Senya took a bugger ton of damage there. Uh, yeah, just shred through him then. Blood Rage. Also, let's have Shoe Lord come up to war with her. Indignance. Uh, Wild Grasp again to again stop it from charging. Move Melee up to there and attack. And then Jaya. Let's try and... Yeah, alright, so it can't move, but it's a slinger. It probably wasn't going to move anyway. It moved anyway. What's Hobble then? Oh, right. Hobble is speed reduced. Pinned is no movement at all. I'm with you. Uh, alright, Shoe Lord. If I move Shoe Lord up to there, I can just kill him with indignation. Doesn't take an action. And damage him. Uh, Wild Grasp him again. Finishes that off. We'll also get Senior up here to finish the Mustrox before it can bloody hit me once. Move Senny up here to finish off the Slinger. That, apart from one massive hit on Senior, went really well. Shoe Lord leveled up. Ooh, Riposte. Shoe Lord will counterattack after a successful block or dodge. That fits his build. Senior is uh, now level 4. None of those are particularly appealing. I'm going to go for the Blood Rage increase. Once per combat, gain two plus two damage and prevent health from dropping to zero for one turn. Moon Willow Sash speed increase. I'm going to give that to Iggy because I feel he isn't as fast as he could be. Everyone's still in one piece. Looks like. What's that? That's Jaya. No, past Jaya. Huh? It's Navi. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Following a light hey, through the forest listen. alone is what hey, always gets you listen. in trouble. Hey, with a friend close listen. behind, on hey, the other hand, listen. through hey, winding paths listen. thick hey, with trees, they listen. follow the gently hey, drifting wisp, hey, until finally hey, the trail listen. opens out to hey, a grove, listen. a grove which hey, is not empty. Oh god, there are so many of them. Listen. Hmm? Hey, listen. You're welcome. Hey. Oh. oh, goody. The draped fabric twinkles slowly, lights weaving in and out. The Hey Listen Scarf, Health, Warding and Potency, nice. I think Shoe Lord should have that, as he is still the leader of the group, he has to look the coolest. And to be honest, his look is a little bit muddled. You know, the whole the whole green and regal purple doesn't really work with a giant chipped clockwork axe, but whatever. Father Fungus added to the deepest. Actually, I think my favourite look is Spriggand, because he really nails the, like, the cons consistent theme. It's really lucky he got a leaf weapon. Secure the shrine. Clear the infestation and assault the beacon. Did you see the huge moth that landed in Ambleton's hair earlier today? How could I not? And you weren't going to say anything? Ha! He walked around with that thing sticking out at a jaunty angle for like an hour. Hey. Tell me a story. Hmm? You're the guy with the stories, right? Hmm? Well, what would you like to hear? Nothing too fantastic. Just tell me something that happened to you. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Why are the, the bars, the text boxes so huge? Renvan told Spriggan about a blue jay used to perch just outside the kitchen window. The bird's trust was more easily won than that of most wild creatures, especially with the nuts from Renvan's pantry. I called him Scuttlebutt, even though he probably wouldn't have approved. He always cocked his head as if he were listening, and there was a lot for him to hear. It was a time of breaking downs and movings on. Hmm. Do I want to know what happened to him? Same thing that happens to all who walk or fly this path, I imagine. Funny thing, though. 
The last time he visited, he brought me a present. A stone, not too big, but almost perfectly round. I've kept it ever since, wearing its surface smooth with any worries or thoughts I have. It ever given you any good advice? Nah. It listens, and that's enough. That was kind of a nice moment, actually. Butler, Batchby, Watchman, Sommelier, and Spectic. Nice, easy spread, nothing hard. And a water spirit, who's immediately sprinted through the bloody door. Because don't they always open the door? Okay. <laughs> I was wondering, like, sometimes they're not in this first room, and I probably could have got there. Apparently not. Ambleton, move up here, and uh, guard. Spriggand interfuse with the mannequins and constrict the butler. Oh, the spectics there as well, didn't even see him. Renvan just come up to a wall. And Iggy. Oh, I don't really want to hit the spirit, but I'm going to have to. Sorry. Oh, dodged. Butler's uh, buttling. Bottling its best, alarm has been raised, the spectic is charging, and the spirit is running away as it probably should. It didn't take damage. Like it, it didn't its health did not go down. That's quite interesting. And hopeful, really. Renvan is horrendously slow. Hit the spectic. Yeah, it had temporary health. Uh Ambleton move up to to wall with Renvan from in front and hit the spectic, which it blocked. Iggy, poison them all again. It's funny that they can be poisoned, considering they're like metal and bone. And what's that? One more time. <laughs> Move up here to wall. And then create shoots and roots up there. Spectic died to poison. The watchman is scared of the poison. The butler is buttling. And uh, Ambleton kills the butler. I guess the butler didn't do it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wow, look, look, look. It's like a little more thargy lamp. Nice. I mean, horrific. That's got bones and, and saw blades and stuff, but, you know, cool. I feel like we're missing one. Let's get Iggy to go up here and silk step. Interfuse with a plant and wrench it down where Ambleton can... Oh, it blocked. Oh, it died to the poison anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's see if we can get that. What's it? Uh, no, I think this is its last turn. Catch the spirit, one turn left. It's cool that it says. Go over here, open the door, there's the batch bee. And then just step back a little. Withdraw from the plant. And from the coat rack or whatever it was. And then move up here. Ambleton. Also move up here to wall. Sameli is going for Renvan. Ooh. And the batch bees run off. And the spirit is gone. Damn. That's okay. Blocked. Damn, Renvan isn't doing well. Ambleton. Charge to here. That's where I thought he was. Not actually any way I can get there. Behind him. His Spriggan goes there. He can then interfuse with the loom. To constrict the batch bee, hobble him, a little bit of damage. Uh, Iggy, move up to here. Switch weapon, and you're gonna have to shoot him. Poisoned, nice. Morthagi clamp, Ambleton's engaged and takes damage. Somalia shoots a Renvan, but is blocked. Renvan, come up. I I feel like Renvan's gonna get himself killed. So Iggy should probably go and help. Ambleton, you got this? Yeah, he's got this. Iggy, switch weapon. Don't worry, son, I got ya. I had it, Dad. No. Snake stone sash. Dodge. I'm going to put that on Spriggand because he doesn't really wear armor. Oh, double spectic. Secure there, find an item. Coal Shrine is secured, and we get two Heartwood and two spell thread. A Gloom Glass Strap. Stunt Chance. They're both of the same. I'm going to give it to Renvan, I think. He needs all the bloody help he can get. And now the last area is actually through this mountain, so I'm going to have to build a pass. Get started. 
site is secured over here, and we got two hides, two ingots, and two spell thread. A brooch of cunning accuracy. The lowest accuracy is Spriggan, but he doesn't really need it. Then the next lowest is Shoe Lord, who does actually hit things these days, so let's give that to him. And now, um, I guess... I have a feeling something else is going to happen once we've destroyed the last Morthagi site. But um, just in case nothing does, I'm going to move them around to join the rest. We've also got um, an incursion happening in 17 days. I don't know where they're going to come from. I assume from here and then try and move directly through us. Let's get you two to help anyway. Five days, passageways open. So I'm going to prepare a defense here because I reckon they're going to try and come straight through us. Here's the incursion. Yep, good. Mothagi wardrobe. I'm going to get rid of that one because that is quite dangerous, but the rest I, I don't care. There we go, tier 3 defense is built, and now I just wait it out. Here we go, pillaging Mothagi have arrived at the shrine. Uh, ah, you have plenty of heroes here, so only two farmers will join. So I think uh, when you're defending against an incursion, it's the only time you can use more than I think it's like four or five guys. So I do actually get my entire party in this one. The Mothagi have come, how should we respond? We charge into battle, it is the Shoe Lord way. As the opposing numbers become obvious, the cry for courage dies in their throats. This could be the last battle. Well damn. Dismay, all enemies have plus one temporary hit points. We have two Watchmen, a Batchby, a Butler, two Spectators and a Somalia. Not a problem, although that is hardly tier three bloody defenses. Let's go with a volley of arrows to potentially kill off two Spectics in one go. Nope, not quite. Iggy charges out, and then Silk Steps, uh, Pleb comes to guard up there. Jaya will hobble, I don't even know what the Batch Bee can do, but I'm going to hobble the Watchman. Wall with her, interviews with the tree, and tree call, let's go with Senia, who will then step up and boom, forgot to shred the armor, I always forget to shred the armor. I will charge Amber. Oh, I should have put him one space away because um, he's got Guardian no matter what he does. So if I put him one step away, then the first one of those to move would have just died. And I, I failed that. Shoe Lord, come down to wall with Silver down here. Interfuse with a tree. And Wild Grasp the Watchman. Nice. What are they doing then? Uh, Somalia is coming down blocked. He's sweeping, good for him. Doesn't realize Iggy's right behind him. The Batch Bee's moving in. First one's dead, good. Senia blocked. Renvan, ooh, blocked. Ambleton kills off the Spectic. Renvan charges the Butler. Seven damage, that's not bad. Seni is gonna come and protect her master's Son? Mother's son? I really don't know the relationship between her and Senia. Shoe Lord is going to charge him. Because Shoe Lord is a maniac now. This is what he... Is he out of range? He's out of range. Wild Grasp again. A little bit of damage and pinned. Oh no, he's dead. Fantastic. Saved face. Druick hits that. And then Iggy comes in to stab it in the back. And then proceeds down here to stab the butler next turn. Senia blocked. Damn, that's bad. Uh, Silver come up to wall with Senia. Gyre is going to have to walk away. <laughs> uh, and, ooh, kill the watchman. Good. Whereas Spriggand is just going to slink over here. And wild grasp the batch bee into convenient Senia range. And tree call Drugleck over there for some reason. Oh, the butler is sweeping, healing a lot. Oh, wow, almost one shot Jaya. Silver's holding his own. We've got another Batch and another Somalia. Renvan hits the butler. He's determined to kill it. 
Iggy is then going to go show his son how it's done and not quite get the kill. Damn. Oh no, there's a second batch be there. That's bad. The batch be boys. Uh, right, if you go here and hit him, then Senia can go here and flank. Oof, that didn't do as much as I was hoping. Uh, Butler. Ah, oh, damn, warded. Uh, Ambleton, just go up there and bloody pin the Somalia. <laughs> and Druglik. Oh, nice one, you finished him off. I don't think it makes a difference who gets the, the finishing kill. Uh, let's get Jaya to back up one and finish the butler. And Shoe Lord will come sprinting up towards the Batch Bee. Rain arrows? Archers. No, a little bit. Interfused with the barricade. Oh, dodged. And damaged the Batch Bee. It's clamping on uh, Druglek and damaging him a little. Oh, two more Spectics and another Batch Bee. But that is the last of it. Spectres are right here. Perfect for Shoe Lord to charge in and do his super heroic thing that he likes to do. Wasn't particularly effective, but sure. And then Senia come up and wall with him. Kill off the Batchby, that's the bigger threat. Oh, the other Batchby is with Ambleton all on his own up here. Move down there. Ambleton, go up here and hit the Somalia. Renvan, go charging this way. He's very slow. Iggy to there, and Silk Step. Druglik there to finish off one Spectic. Jaya also Silk Step. I don't think they stood much of a chance. Like, it's a big army we're facing, but it's got my entire party here. And even a couple of hard hits I've taken, they're not really going to make a big difference, I don't think, long term. Because uh, Senia took a, a bad hit in one of the previous ones, so she's basically fine now. Renvan's going to charge in like an idiot. Ambleton, if you go here and then hit the Batch B, opening up for Iggy. Come over here and stab him up the back. And there is no way I can do a volley of arrows without hitting at least one of us, so I will not try. And Senia, finish off the Spectic, and now it is just that one Somalia, which was finished off by our Somalia. Brilliant.